My father's grocery store was called Carl's Food Shop, and it was in a two-story building at the corner of Broadway and Belmoral. He lived right above Mr. Josephson's drugstore. He was the neighborhood pharmacist, and my dad's grocery store was the last store at the end. My father was a German immigrant, and he had the grocery store with a partner, two young men, and then he bought the partner out, and my father used to live in the back of the store. There was, in the very back, there was a toilet in a room, and then there was a, there was a kitchen sink on the wall, and that was it for the plumbing. So, and he lived in this little space. The hours were absolutely horrible. They were seven days a week from 9 in the morning till 9 at night, and on Sunday from 9 a.m. till 2 p.m. My mother would go upstairs and cook dinner, and we would all, my mother and the children would eat, and then my mother would go down to the store, and my father would come upstairs, and he would eat. I always felt my mother worked my, twice as hard as my father. He would serve dinner probably five to six, and she would eat and feed us, and then she would go down to the store, and he would come upstairs. And then he would nap, and he she would nap. stay down to yes. the shop. Yes, and then he would go back downstairs and close the store, and she would come up and clean up the dishes. So your mother was working all day long? Oh, yes, and then my, my mother hand-washed clothes for six people in the bathtub. My dad sold a lot, a lot of canned goods. Milk, eggs, there was no butcher shop, and he didn't have a, you know. But butcher. bread? Oh yeah, bread. Just, you know, sort of fresh fruit and vegetables. Okay. And my dad always wore a white apron. I can still see him standing there. You know, he was kind of tough sometimes, and he'd stand there like this, watching the kids take the candy. You know, the kids were taking too much time deciding what they wanted. He'd say, hurry up. My father usually added everything up with pencil on a paper bag. So when people came in, he just scribbled on the paper bag how much stuff was and he added it. And I remember when he got the new cash register, which you had to punch the numbers in and then hit that little oblong plastic thing. And this was high tech at the time. So that, that must have been in the early 50s. The floors were wood. It was mostly self-service because all the shelves were lined up and people would take things off the shelves or they would ask for something and he would go and get it. And he also had a um, refrigerated case with um, cold cuts. Yellow Taxi Company was right on Broadway the garage, mm -hmm. so all the men that were cab drivers would come over at lunchtime and my dad would make sandwiches for them. Did he have one of those old meat slicers to do it or did he Yes. He also had a freezer with ice cream by the gallon and he would scoop it out and, and pack it in little containers. That, that was hard work, you know, scooping out ice cream and weighing it. And brands, he also had a candy case, which we, as the four children of the family, loved. Did he offer delivery to his customers? Oh yes, mm -hmm. I was the delivery girl. Yes, we, we all, or my dad would deliver, or my mother would have to come stay in the store while my father delivered. And we had a little wagon, so my dad would go around the neighborhood and pull the groceries on a wagon. So how would that happen? Did someone call up? They would call up. We never went on a vacation. My parents never earned a car. They never learned how to drive. It was, uh, it was a very rough life. The part that I thought was good, it was my mother's social life because she couldn't go anywhere or do anything. My mother was housebound and storebound. But people would come in the store. My mom would sit on a, a wooden box and talk to this lady. And the two of them would sit on wooden orange crates and socialize with each other. In the because store. In the store. Now, once uh, the chain stores came in, like A and P, it drove my father out of business.
you want to talk about that a little bit? Yeah, I remember uh, when when they opened large chain stores, um, everyone started going there, and they would only come to my dad's store when they didn't have money and they needed credit. Did he sell it or just close it? Well, my dad closed the store, I think, in 68 because the supermarkets, they were closing mm -hmm. all over the place. Mm -hmm. I think the, the main reason was because they financially. weren't financially. Mm -hmm. There was no business. Would you go to work and not get a paycheck? Because mm -hmm. basically that's what my father was doing. Mm -hmm. It's really that good a living. It, it, they made very little money. Having a grocery store, we couldn't go out to play sometimes because we had to work there. You were, as a child, you were housebound and to a grocery store. Being raised by an immigrant set of parents, it was work, work, work. It's the work ethic, which doesn't really exist nowadays. 